Okay, Meg, let's talk about idioms related to the body. Oh. So we have lots of idioms in English that we use for specific meanings, so to learn these idioms, we shall just talk about them by asking each other questions. Okay. Okay, the first one is about dating. So should a man always foot the bill on a date? Well, I think I am a little bit of a traditionalist in that maybe at the beginning or the first date the man should foot the bill. But after that, if you are in a relationship, it does not really seem fair for the man to pay all the time. Do you agree? Yeah, I agree. I mean on a date I feel awkward if I don't pay the bill, so yeah. The man should foot the bill on the first date. Hum. So the next one related to feet is when you dance, do you have two left feet? Yes, I definitely have two left feet. I am not a good dancer by any means and I do not really enjoy it so I think I look a little awkward when I am dancing. What about you? Yeah, I definitely have two left feet. Yeah, I just look like a mess on the dance floor, so and I don't enjoy it, and I think because I'm nervous I want to get out of there, so yeah. Right. I understand your feeling. Not my. All right, so also related to feet is the leg. So in your city, what costs an arm and a leg? In my city where I live right now, I feel like fruit costs an arm and a leg. It can be quite expensive, especially if you want fruit that's out of season. But in my hometown, in America, you can usually get fruit very cheap. So it feels like it costs an arm and a leg here. What about for you? Yeah, the city I live in now is in Japan, and it's also very expensive. Taxis cost an arm and a leg, so to take a taxi ride is so expensive. In America where I'm from, I would say healthcare costs an arm and a leg. It's so expensive, crazy expensive. Right, much more. You never want to get sick. Yes. Even health insurance costs an arm and a leg. It's very, very costly. I agree with that. All right, let's now talk about feelings. So, is it okay to give people the cold shoulder sometimes? Hum, well. Nobody likes the cold shoulder. Right, nobody likes the cold shoulder. I do not think we should give people the cold shoulder, however. I have to admit that I have sometimes given a friend or a family member the cold shoulder when I have been upset about something. Yeah, the whole thing about the cold shoulder is actually you do want them to talk to you. You just want them to feel bad. Right? Yes. Right. Yeah. It's kind of passive-aggressive. Exactly, like I'm mad at you, but I really just want you to see that I'm mad at you and give me attention and I'm happy. Right, yes, you want to make it clear that you are mad. Yeah, exactly. By giving the cold shoulder. Right. Have you ever given someone the cold shoulder? Oh, yeah, I can be very moody, so I have definitely given people the cold shoulder. Yeah, 
You feel a little guilty later. Yeah, so we are both teachers. Do you ever give students the cold shoulder? No, I don't think I would ever give a student the cold shoulder, because if they have questions or need help, I want to be able to assist them. So that's a little different, I think. What about you? Yeah, no, totally. Like the students give me the cold shoulder, right? Ah, yes. So you know that something's wrong, but yeah, teachers can't give students the cold shoulder. No, you can't. It's impossible. Or it should not be done. Hum. All right, those were some interesting points. Hi, Mia. What's up? I am good. What about you, John? I am fine. Thank you. You look tensed. What happened? Nothing much. Actually, I'm planning for a job change these days. What happened? Any problem? My office is 15 kilometers far from my home. It's really a headache to commute every day, and that too by bus. You can imagine. But how is the work? Work is fine. No pressure as such. But one has to stay till seven. I reach home by eight. It's pretty late. Have you applied somewhere else? I have sent my resume to several placement consultancies but have not got even a single response as yet. Don't worry. Things will be all right in some time and you will get a job of your choice. Anyway, what about you, John? Not so good. I am also fed up with my job. There is nothing new, the same boring work every day. What is your job profile? I am into designing work. I work on Corel, Photoshop, and Illustrator. Then, what's wrong with it? Same boring work, and additionally huge work pressure makes me extremely tired. It's obvious. The company takes at least 10 times in return of what they pay. I agree. But still, I need some challenging work that improves my skills. I can understand. Why don't you look for some other job? I have already placed my resume in few job portals, but all in vain, I guess. No, it's not. My brother got a good job through a portal. Have patience, you will also get one. I hope so. I think we must leave now. It's getting dark. You are right. See you soon. Goodbye.